What is going on, nerds? Today I'm playing Dodrio Monkey Dory with Frostlass, of course. So, Frostlass, you know, puts damage counter Pokemon with abilities, and Dodrio happens to have an ability. But additionally, Dodrio does more damage for each damage counter on it. Which means Frostlass places damage on Dodrio and you do 30 more for each damage that Frostlass places, plus 10 base. So if you have two Frostlass in play, by the time it comes back to your turn, you're doing a lot of damage. Additionally, Dodrio has the ability to zoom and draw, or once per turn you can put a damage counter on it, then draw a card. It's kind of a really interesting mechanic. And if I ever get too much damage on the Dodrio, which is pretty likely, I can use Monkey Dory to move the damage back off the Dodrio so I don't get it knocked out. Um, for my 8 spec, I play Hyper Aroma because it has a lot of stage 1s. And it's really important to get them all in play quickly. Additionally, because I do require an energy on both Dodrio and Monkey Dory, I play some ways to keep energy in play. First one is Giovanni's Charisma, which can attach an extra energy and has the bonus of removing um, an energy from my opponent, which isn't as important but could still matter. And um, I've also got 1 XP share, which I can Arvin for, which just keeps energy on the field. Other than that, it's a pretty straightforward deck. It's got Iono and Arvin kind of as the engine, and a lot of Pokemon Search. It's got Earth and Vessel. It's also got a Devo, which makes fun plays. And it's got a few different tools, Rescue Board and Define Span, just for some options for my Arvin. Anyway, let's get into some games. My opponent is going first, which should allow me to get super set up, because I have an Arvin. I also have Poffet and Nestle. I just have a whole bunch of setup here. It's actually kind of crazy how set up I am. Especially considering how early in the game it is. My setup is just amazing. Now I am fighting a Dragapult deck, which is kind of scary because it can knock out my dude Rio along with other stuff. But I don't worry about it too much. Because Monkey Dory can heal. Though definitely the worry is he tries to knock out two things at once though, which is a very possible thing for him to do. But I'm not too worried about it. Rocky Helmet is a really interesting inclusion. I've never seen that in a list like this. This is Rank Ladder, but I guess I'm not super high on the Rank Ladder right now. Kind of interesting. Giovanni Charisma, that is helpful. I can remove his energy. I actually don't hate removing his energy to preventing him from attacking, even if I don't get an energy myself. Often, or I could technically get an energy myself. There's a way to do that. Um, for Shnora and Dodowo. No, 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 no. I do think I need to get down to Monkey Nugget, and then Monkey Dory. You would think that I want to get a bunch of Frostlass in play, but in this matchup, she doesn't have many abilities. I really want my Dota Woes to just kind of stay alive, and honestly, he damaging me with Dragapult anyway, allowing me to have enough damage on the field. Therefore, Monkey Dory is actually more important in this matchup than Frostlasses, which is really interesting. Um, I could Giovanni's Charisma, and I don't think it's a terrible idea. I don't have an energy to attach with it. So it's not as useful. No, I don't think I Giovanni's Prism. I think I'll Urban for a Vessel. And a Rescue Board. Vessel and Rescue Board. <laughs> and I kind of don't want to lose XP share. I think I can safely... No, I want to keep Poke Gear, though. Um, Giovanni's Prism actually doesn't seem as necessary since I'm already attaching ahead of time. So I think I can lose Giovanni's Charisma. I do like the XP share being an option, though, so I'm going to keep that available. Get two energy. Catch one in Dodo. I could technically reckless charge with Dodo. Well, however, I do not think that's worth it right now. Oh, I probably should attach it here because like that XP share can move it to the Mint Monkey Dory if it knocks me out. Eh? I know it's fine. I guess it's probably not worth it anyway. So yeah, catch XP share, and I will end my turn. Let's see. He's probably gonna knock me out, but that's fine. Now my Dodrio is not gonna do a lot of damage to start with. But very soon, the damage will start scaling significantly. I just gotta get set up, and then I should be doing some pretty good damage. Okay, should we get another energy? He's fleet-footed, so that's fine. He does have a lot of drag bolts to fly. It's interesting how he plays the end day. Kind of surprising. I'm definitely thinking I maybe should have gotten down another snow run, but I'm not sure. It's kind of weird. If I can get some damage on my Dota Woes, I should be good. Poke Gear, hopefully I find an Arvin. I do find an Arvin. Arvin can get me Hyper Aroma. 
which can get me very set up. And I can use Defiant Band to do a little more damage. I actually think that is worth it. Hyper Aroma gets me Double Dodrio and Frostlass. Evolve to Frostlass, evolve to Dodrio, and I'll evolve to Dodrio. I'm going to use Zooming Draw on both Dodrio. Get some damage in play. I'm not going to knock out Bante, which is too bad, but it's fine. Vessel's not bad. I actually think it makes sense to hold on to the Fine Fan, because right now it doesn't seem that necessary. There's uses to it, but I think I'm doing enough damage in a sec that I don't need to worry about it. So I'll just hit him for 40. It's not much, but it definitely will help. It's tough than not having another Monkey Dorian in play, but I am getting more damage with my Frost Blast. Oh, I forgot about his Rocky Helmet. That's kind of interesting. Technically, that means if he gets a Dragonbolt Gust, he could knock out two things. But I doubt he gets that, personally. Maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like it's very unlikely. He attaches the Dreepy. He definitely doesn't have an engine down yet, which is good for me, because it means he's not very set up. What's cool is that Dodrio draws me cards, which can get me more set up when I'm in a situation like this where I'm not very set up. I honestly consider playing an Energy Switch to go with the XP share, but I don't think it's necessary. It's just helpful to have. Ring up, and then Frost Last Pings again. Alright, I should be able to knock him out this turn, right? Because I'm doing 100, I can go up to 130. And then Monkey Dory should be enough. Yeah, so 130 plus 80. Oh, I'm actually close to knock him out. I don't think I can quite do it. Let's see. So I definitely want to Ultra Ball some stuff away. I don't want to lose Dodrio, honestly. Well, I can lose Dodrio because I can Super Run it back in immediately. Ultra Ball away, Dodrio, and Rescue Board. I think I need the Defiance Band this turn. If the math was long. Oh, but I need to get rid of the Defiance Band. Mm, this is tough. Unless I get a Dota Woe. Yeah, the math here is a little tough because I can. Zooming draw, I'll be doing 130. Plus 20. 140. Plus, well, I'm not quite there. So I'm at. Uh, he'll essentially be knocked out coming into my turn, which is not good enough for me. I definitely need the Defiance Band attached. I will Super Rod, and then I'll Iono to get a new hand. Dodo, Dodrio, Monkey Dory. I probably could have gotten rid of the Vessel, honestly, instead of the Dodrio, but I wasn't sure what to do. It's okay. This is looking good, actually. Another Monkey Dory down. I might have to attach the energy to the Dodo, maybe. I think I do. I'll zoom and draw in case, because if I don't find energy next turn, it could be a problem. Um, so I just gotta be careful and make sure that I have that as an option. I do wish I had another Frost Last in play right now, but I think my damage is good enough that it shouldn't matter too much. So I'm currently doing 160, which means I can actually use the Adrenal Brain on something else. Because I just knock him out. 160 plus Frost Last is 230. So Adrenal Brain can go anywhere I want. And I think I'm going to put it on his Charmeleon. Because I want to be able to knock out his Charizard. Uh, again, that's going to get damage over time, though. I think I'm actually going to put it on the Dreepy. If I can knock out the Dreepy, that would be ideal. And then I just hit him for 160. And now the Frost Last knocks him out. Now the sketchy thing is if he gets a Dragapult out. That could be definitely scary, but I'm not too worried about it. He is knocked out, and I take two prizes. Now we're even on the prize trade. But I'm definitely set up, and he doesn't seem very set up right now, which is good. What's crazy is if he does not knock out my Dodrio here, my Dodrio is going to hit him super hard for the knockout. So he really needs to knock out my Dodrio to do anything worthwhile. But I'm not so sure if he's going to be able to knock out my Dodrio. Also, that Dracloak is going to start getting pinged, which is nice. And that one. Double Dracloaks being pinged is actually pretty nice. I actually, let's see, can I knock out the Dracloak? I might be able to soon. Let's see, you get 30. I can put... Oh yeah, I can actually knock out the Dracloak, I think. Because I can do 20 from a Monkey Dory and 30 from a Dodrio onto it. 
and then Frost last one knocking out. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, I, I will have to heal my Dodrio, but if he does not get an attack this turn, then what I can just do is remove damage from my Dodrio and end up knocking out a Draculope, which is pretty powerful for sure. I do need to find an energy to do that. That's the one thing. But that should not be very hard, in theory. If I knock out a Draculope, though, that's huge. Because he has an energy there and everything, so it just makes it so much tougher on him. If I knock out a Draculope. He's not playing a weird list, but... Nevertheless, I'm still winning, which is crazy. Um, and then I should make a really good position, because I can knock out his Mew EX in the active on the same turn I knock out the Draculope on the bench. So I... Lucky Helmet? Draw two cards if it's damaged. Interesting. That's kind of a surprising inclusion. It's interesting how much weight one Frostlass can carry. Because honestly, in this matchup, you don't want to set up too many Frostlasses or you'll knock out your own Odrios. Although two is, of course, better than one, generally. I have a switch, so I'm not worried about the boss. Whatever he stalls is not going to hurt. Unless he has an attacker. If he knocks out my Frostlass, it could be sketchy. But it's not that bad, because the thing is, no, he doesn't. Never mind. I'm in a great position here. Okay, I start, need to start drawing cards with my Dodrios. Is there any Dodrios? I think I have another Dodrio on my deck. So if I can find that, that'd be great. But I'm going to draw cards first, so I don't have to Ultra Ball away anything I don't want to Ultra Ball away. Yeah, I can Ultra Ball away Giovanni's Charisma. I don't need that card right now. Ultra Ball away Charisma, Poffin, for another Dodrio. Which allows me to draw even more. And get more damage counters on the field, which is really good with Monkey Dory. I need to find an energy. That's what I need to find. I don't play a lot of energy, so it's definitely not super easy to find an energy. But if I do, I'm in a really, really good position. Even if I don't, I'm in a good position, of course. Lana's is aid. Is there any, there's no energy in my discard. So Lana's aid is not like, well, technically, I could retreat a Dodrio and get an energy back. And it's, it's worth it to do that if I have to. I think Iono is better here, though. Because it's very likely I had all the energy off Iono. So I switched to Dodrio. <laughs> and then I Iono. I could have done a retreat play and then Lana's aid, but I don't think it's worth it. Iono is just better. I did not find energy. That's too bad. Let's see. Um, I'm doing 280. That's plenty. I need a Monkey Dory. Three off the Dodrio. On to, whew, let's see, I think I do the Draculope. If I had another Monkey Dory, this would be so much better. Sadly, I do not. And then I just knock him out with 190 damage. This is interesting, for sure. He does draw some cards with Lucky Helmet. He's probably going to get somewhat set up here. But I take two prizes, which is really good. I feel like this is good. And his whole board gets damaged, too. He got 70 damage on that Dragapult. Or that Dracloak. But it's, it's probably about to evolve into Dragapult. And that's honestly fine. Is it best to knock out the Entei V? Is that... I guess it's not that much easier. Let's see. I'll have at least 40 damage on my Dodrio. Which makes it do 130. Then 160 when I move from Monkey Dory. 190. Uh -huh. Hmm. I'm interested to see if I can get enough damage set up um to knock him out it's very tough math to think about right now because it's kind of complicated but i think i might be able to get enough math to knock out a drag point i'm not sure if he puts any damage on my dodrios then yes if he doesn't it's a little bit tougher but still possible for sure He switches. Huh. That's surprising. Actually, I think my strategy might just be to knock out, like, two one-prizers with Monkey Dory. I gust... Yeah, I knock out Charmeleon with Monkey Dories, and then I gust Draculoak. That just wins me the game, right? Yeah. Gust up Charmeleon. Or, yeah, knock out Charmeleon with Monkey Dory, gust Draculoak. I just need to find a boss. I have a pretty thin deck, and I can draw cards zooming draw as well. So I think it's pretty likely I find boss if I need it. 
Definitely not guaranteed, but it's pretty like, wow, just lost a lot of energy to that research. That's kind of crazy. But it doesn't need much. Yep, he's got Zard. Hmm. Okay. He uses Infernal Rain. Some energy imply. Let's see what happens. Seems like all I need to win is a boss, but we'll see. How many bosses do I have left? Actually, all my bosses are left. I'm not down any. I don't think I have any prize either. So that's really nice. Oh, he evolved his arm. That actually makes it a little bit... No, I can KO his Dracloak. Because the Frost Last Ping is a Dracloak here, and that allows me to KO it. Oh, but then they're... then I boss the Dreepy. Yep. KO the Dracloak, boss the Dreepy. Yep. So this should work if I find boss. If I do not find boss, it becomes a little bit harder. But still definitely winnable. And I feel like it's very likely I find boss, considering how thin my deck is. But yeah, it is possible I miss it. If he puts any damage onto Drio, he also just loses himself the game. Which he might just do, honestly. He might just put damage on Drio. Nope, he puts on a Frost Last. That's the correct lie. You definitely do not want to put damage on Drio here. What's funny, even if I miss the knockout, I'm still in a really good position. Oh. Actually, I don't hate that. No, I don't want to keep it, do I? Huh? I don't hate keeping it in play. No. I don't... I Because I could rot it back if I ever want another energy. There's no reason to keep it in play. Okay. I should have games as long as I find boss. That's the tough thing, is finding boss. But it's not that tough. Just relatively tough. I mean, I mean, honestly, it's saying tough. Oh, wait, just Devo. I can just Devo, right? He evolved from Charmeleon. He evolved from, okay. Let me think, do I do the math? If I Devo, this will go up to not quite enough. This one, it actually, yes, because I put three on here. Yeah, I can Devo. Okay, first, I'm going to try and go for the boss play, though. I'm going to try and set it up. Because if I can find it, then it just works that way. If not, I demo for game. But I kind of like the boss play, just because it's simple, and I don't have to mess up. Boss. Okay, so now I use Double Monkey Dory to knock out Dracloak. This guy's doing 130, right? Yep, Double Monkey Dory to knock out Dracloak. Wow. Now the other Monkey Dory... To completely knock out Dracloak. I can't believe I just drew the boss. I didn't have to poke gear for it. And then I can boss the Dreepy and knock it out for game. This is my first game ever playing this deck and I win, which is crazy. Especially against Dracloak. I guess Dragapult's fine because of Monkey Dory, but it seems sketchy when I have such low HP. Wow, okay. <laughs> Alright, on to the next match. That one was crazy. I'm going first, which may seem weird, but I think because I play Hyper Aroma, first is always better in this deck. No Snow Run, and I think I get another Dota Wool. I could get double Snow Run, but I honestly like the idea of Dota Wool better here. Just get more set up, because honestly, like last game you saw, I really don't need multiple Frost Lasses in a lot of situations. It's helpful to have two, but a lot of times I don't need it. And I have my turn. I can poke to here next turn to get set up, which is good. And the Diva is definitely going to be important in this matchup, I feel like. Also, nice start with XP share. He Luminions. What is he playing? I'm assuming it's Zard. Okay. Which is interesting that there's so much Zard in the ladder. I guess Zard's good, but... Maybe it's Zard Dragapult. Maybe it's like Torn, which would be interesting to find another one of those. And I feel like it would be a very good matchup. Or maybe it's just plain Zard. Uh Choice spell probably wouldn't be in a Zard Dragapult, although there are weird lists on live sometimes. Looks like it's just a regular Zard. Wait! I can Reckless Charge the Cluffa. That's funny. That's really funny. Even if I get, like, no setup, I can still knock out his Cluffa. Which is actually kind of hilarious. I, I kind of love that. That I can just knock out his Cluffa anyway. Just get an early prize. That just feels nice. Now, Poke Gear does need to find me something. Boss, Poke Gear. Um, wow, which one do I want? Because if I Iono, because Arvin guarantees I get a setup, but then I have nothing for future turns. Because right now, I don't, 
I only have enough for, like, the here and now. If I use Arvin for Hyper Aroma. That is not bad, actually. Nestle, I think I get a second Monkey Dory here. It seems weird, but I think it's correct. I don't feel like... I mean, Double Frost Lap is nice. Ugh. If I get Snoron for Monkey Dory. If I get Snoron, I can get another Frost Lap next turn, though. I think I get Snoron. Because I have, if I Hyper Aroma next turn, then it definitely is worth it to have that. Or maybe I need to get another Doduo. Because he's going to knock out a Doduo, and I might run out of Doduos. Yeah, I might run... If he gets a Zard immediately, I run out of Doduos. Because, yeah. I gotta get another Doduo. It's not ideal, but it's fine. Catch, and I'll Reckless Charge for Knockout. Hopefully he doesn't get Zard, although it's very likely he does. Considering he hasn't used Seal Stone yet. We'll see. Poffin! That's so good. Freezing Shroud. Get some damage in play. Always love getting damage in play. That Luminion's definitely gonna get knocked out at some point, I feel like. Charmeleon. That's not a Zar. He needs a rare candy Zar. I don't know if he has it. If he doesn't, I probably just won, right? He's gonna call for family? No way he call- oh, he got Iono. That could either help or hurt. I don't know which one. It really depends. Um, we'll see. Seems like it hurt, but I do have an Iono, so it's not a huge issue. It gives me a chance to still set up, and I did find a snow run to well. Actually, this is not bad. Call for family. Wow. I was not expecting him to do that. That's really sketchy. That also means he's down two energy. And now he gets pinged again. So I should just be able to knock out his Pidgey. Even if I don't find what I need. Like, even if I don't find um, a Dodrio, I still can knock out his Pidgey. Do I attach to... I'm wondering if I attach to Monkey Dory, because it requires that I find... A Dodrio if I don't attack the Monkey Dory. But the Monkey Dory is... Oh, I guess my head on the prize on the energy curve right now. So I think it's fine to attach the Monkey Dory, even though it does have the XP share, which means kind of not as useful to do that. I think it's fine. Just because the energy curve is in my favor right now. And that was a good reason to attach the Monkey Dory. Oh, I guess I can still Ultra Ball for the thing. Do I lose? Uh... Ultra Ball, I think I get rid of Switch. And do I get rid of Vessel or Dodowo? I can get rid of Dodowo because I have a Super Rod in hand. And get a Dodrio. And now I can even draw a card, which is cool. Always nice to get rid of draw. And now I can knock him out as well. And now Kidori can just put something elsewhere. Like, I think I'm going to put it on. I think I'm going to put it on the Charmeleon. I could put it on Luminion. But the charge the Charizard is his attacker, so I need to be more prepared to knock out a Charizard. Since that's what he's focusing on attacking with. Now we'll probably get Charizard this turn. And then he's gonna start doing a lot of damage and start rolling through my board. Which is definitely not ideal. Because I'm not doing a lot of damage until I get Dodrios in play. And I don't have many Dodrios in play. Additionally, with my current hand, I don't have much of a draw engine. So this is definitely getting to a scary situation where I'm not going to be doing as much damage as I want. But we'll see how it goes anyway. Counter catcher? That's good for me, isn't it? Isn't that like what I want him to do? Because now my Dodrio hits harder. I feel like he should not adjust to my Monkey Dory. Because, I mean, sure, he removes my, the thread of the Monkey Dory from the board, which helps him. But, I mean, at the same time, he just lets my Dodrios accumulate more damage. I mean, I'll be doing, what, 50? I'll be doing 160 next turn. That's a lot of damage. That's actually really nice to be able to do 160. Of course, not a knockout, but that's fine. Just being able to accumulate so much damage is really nice. It's cool how Dodrios are drawing as well, so I can get set up here. Yeah, that feels weird for him to do that. Nest Ball from Monkey Dory. From Monkey Dory. Now I evolve the Dodrio, the Dodrio to a Dodrio, and I start drawing cards. Zooming draw. Yeah. 
zooming draw. Then I can Poke Gear. I'm glad I thought that Poke Gear. Arvin? I don't need the gear, do I? I just Arvin for Hyper Aroma. Wait, I've been 160. Does Defy Fan does not matter here? It doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't. Arvin for Hyper Aroma. Devolution could be interesting. I don't think it's worth it yet. How about I do like I get uh I can't get energy. I think I do get devolution for the future though. Or define no define fan's not needed. So I get hyper aroma devolution. Because devolution next turn could probably knock out his Pidgeot. Hyper aroma for another Dodrio. The Frost Sauce. And I'll get another Frost Sauce to spin out. Evolved a Frost Lass. Evolved a Dodrio. Use Dodrio's ability. If I can find an energy or a vessel, that would be great. Find an energy. Okay, that's good. Attach to the Monkey Dory. And I. I want to. No, I don't want to move any damage. I just want to Ballistic Beat. For 160. Wow. So I can knock out a Charizard next turn, or I can alternatively try to Devo. However, I think it might make sense to wait to Devo, I'm not sure. There's definitely an argument to be made that waiting to Devo is better. I'm not sure. We'll see. Could I get more prize on Lazard if I don't Devo? But if I Devo, oh, I guess I get the same amount of prizes, but I shut off his Pidgey out, so I think I do actually Devo to knock out his Pidgey. But I guess it means the damage I hit in Charizard doesn't matter as much since I was going to Devo anyway. Still helpful. He does get rid of my hand, so that's going to make it a little bit harder to do, though. I still can draw cards to Dodrio, though. So it's still probably not that bad. Of course, that is going to damage myself. <laughs> if any Charizard is going to get hurt. Alright. If I can find an Arvin for Devo, that would be great. If not, it's fine. But, let's hope. <laughs> What's cool is I can Monkey Dory and heal the Dodrio. Because the Dodrio is getting pretty damaged. So Monkey Dory healing it is actually really nice. Oh, Zoom. Hey, Pokey Gear, that's good. I want to shuffle my deck, don't I? Because, uh, I guess it doesn't matter as long as I find Arvin. I don't care that Diva's on the bottom. I just need an Arvin boss? That could help. How much damage am I doing? I'm doing 190. Okay. I can get an Arvin off Pokey Gear. That would be huge. I just realized my frost lasses are gonna knock me out unless I use Monkey Dory. I need to get another Monkey Dory up. Okay. Let's see. I can thin. No, there's no Pokemon to thin out, is there? Not really. Poke Gear. Arvin. Ah, oh, Lana is actually better here, isn't it? Because I'm not planning the Devo because then my Monkey Dory's are, my Dodrios are gonna get knocked out just naturally. So I have to do Monkey Dory plays instead, and I can Devo next turn. So I use Lawn as aid to get back energy and Pokemon. Energy, energy. Um, I guess I get a Dota Woe, yeah. Dota Woe. Put down Monkey. Patch to Monkey. If I'm doing 190, if I heal 30, how much am I doing? I'm doing. 30 damage, so I'm doing 100. That's enough. So I actually can heal the active. Oh, I have to heal both, actually. Yeah. I have to heal both, and I'm going to knock out his Charmander. The correct, yeah, it's correct to knock out Charmander. Because I'm still knocking him out, and then I heal the other one. With the Dragon Ring. Knock out Charmander. It's pretty good. And then I'm going to knock out his active. This is looking nice. In fact, I think I maybe... No, I don't know reason to attach Fine Stand since I'm going to be ahead. I'm going down to one prize here. Literally, all I need to win the game is a single Devo. That's all I need. Because, yeah, just Devo knocks out his Pidgeot, and then I win. Or I need to wait. That's the other option. The other option is to wait until Luminion's knocked out, which doesn't take long. In fact, actually, Monkey Dory can just knock out Luminion next turn, can't it? Because Luminion's going to have 100 on it. Actually... Monkey Dory can barely not... No, it can't, because, yeah, it's going to have 110 going out of my turn. 
So actually, Monkey Dory can knock out his Luminion, and I can just win. I don't even need Devo. I literally, at my current board state, wins me the game. No matter what, I think. I mean, he needs to Iono and Gus knock out Monkey Dory to win. And then I hope I don't get set up. That's very unlikely. Otherwise, I just snipe the Luminion. Actually, I, I can't even knock him out on my turn. I forgot I have two Frost Laps, not one. So actually, it's going to be even more damage than I thought it was. In fact, that means that means I only need one Monkey Dory, don't I? Yeah, I don't think about it. Because two into my turn, 120, out, 140, plus 30 for Monkey Dory, I knock out Luminion. He has to remove Luminion from play. I mean, if he does, uh, I guess that could help him. I would need a Diva. Well, now he's probably not... He has to fill his bench to remove Luminion from play now. Also, I have for Diva, so I just win. Because I king his Luminion with my Monkey Dories. That's crazy, and I even have a Devo play available. But I don't need to do it. Because I just knock out his Luminion. But yeah, I can Devo. I could literally take three prizes this turn. And leave him with the Charmander. That's crazy. I top deck Devo as well. Catch. Yeah, he concedes. Anyway, that was crazy. This deck is actually insane. I think it might be better than the Arcanine version. Because a lot of people play um, Hasuian Arcanine since it does stuff with your damage. But I think Dodrio is better because it can hit higher damage and it's a draw engine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the deck. Listen in the description. And watch a video on screen. I think you'll enjoy that one.